Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm gonna look in on my stacked DIY bin. See what we have going on here. Looks like I have some gnats. Looks like I have some plant trying to grow. Peach put, probably been there for a year. All right, well, let's uh, dig in and see what's going on. Uh, fed down on the uh, top level here, but it's been about four weeks, so I am not sure if we're gonna get to see any worm balls or anything. It's been a good long time since we've looked in here. So I will kind of really take a look here and see what there is to see. Moisture at the bottom here seems really good. But I'm not seeing any, any food. So we will definitely have to feed them. Mix in the top layer of dry leaves. Put that uh, almost rotten watermelon in here last time. So if I wanted to see a worm ball, I should have came more. I should have came sooner than now if I wanted to see a worm ball in regards to that melon. Because right now we're just seeing a, a general population of worms. But we'll get this all mixed up. Get all the moisture all distributed on the top part here. The part that had those plastic lids stayed quite a bit more moist and the other parts of it did not. So let me unstack here and see what we have on the lower level. Okay, so here's level number two. It did not get a feeding last time, but the good thing about level number two is that it always gets all the juices. So level number two usually seems to do the best. Probably composts the fast, fastest. It, uh, it always has a good moisture. It always has the good drippings, and you don't usually have to worry about any sort of pests because it's not exposed to the outside environment. So yeah, these guys look super healthy. Moisture's good. No actual worm ball for us to oogle at, but lots of happy worms, that's that's good too. You can see this is paper bedding, whereas the top had some leaves. So this is quite a bit different in color and in texture. But I think that they're they're doing a good job on this. It's been almost a month since we've looked in on it. This bedding under here was almost new. I think it had only been in there one month. So this is pretty good progress for paper bedding for only two months. That's that's pretty good. But um, I think I'm gonna swap out some. These leaves are a little dry, so I'm going to put a couple handfuls of the paper bedding on top and then put a couple handfuls of the leaf from the top layer down here. It'll help keep the paper bedding from clumping up quite so badly. And then the leaves, which when they dry out, they, they don't really hydrate very well again. It usually takes quite a bit to get them rehydrated. 
So I'm going to try and have the layers help each other out. And then after we do that, then we will look at the lower layer and see what it's doing. And even though I almost never feed down there, there's always a bunch of worms and the moisture is usually really nice. So let me pull off that layer and see what we've got. Yep, that's about what you expect. It is super wet down here, but the bedding, which is the same age as the second layer, is almost completely finished. So again, I think I'm gonna do kind of a, an infusion here and put a couple handfuls on the next layer up. Kind of help that second layer out a little bit. And then I'm probably, I'm just gonna put a cup, oops. No, oh, goodly, good thing I'm on the countertop. I can recover if anybody fell off. I'm gonna put a couple handfuls of my leaf bedding in there. All of the extra moisture from the bin always ends up down here. So this will be a good place to get those leaves to get started. There's even a couple of sticks in there. But these are all the red wigglers and European night crawlers and the, the blue worms all living happily together. But I think that's what we're going to do for that bottom layer there. I'm going to put the second layer back. And we can mix that almost too wet last layer in with this one. Maybe even move some over to the top layer. This layer's already got enough moisture. Kind of spread it out a little bit and then I'll put the top layer back on. All right. Kind of spread this around. I am going to feed them today. Got some bread that I found hiding behind the microwave. Must have fell behind there or something. So I soaked it in some water and so they're gonna get that and a couple of limes today. So I'm gonna put these dumb things in the middle and then I will feed on top of them. Get their little limes ready and then like I said I took the bread and I soaked it. It always turns into a big rock for me so I wanted to make sure that the bread definitely was wet before it came in here. All right and then I'm gonna just cover that all up. All right guys well that is the end of the DIY bin for today. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those down below in the comments. And if you are uh, not already a member of my worm family, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, hit that little bell notification. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.